Are you aware that you could potentially receive a 16% increase in your Social Security benefit for the year of 2023? Some may not be aware of this, and I want to share with you some of the details that may apply to your situation. But before we get there, subscribe to my channel. I have over 30 years in this business, and I want to share with you the conversations I have with my clients so you can make sure that you are getting as much as you can for your retirement journey. Much has been made recently of the inflationary impact on a lot of different pieces in our economy and our retirement income, and the inflationary pressures, if you will, have two sides to them. First, the downside of inflation is that everything is costing more, and in today's society with supply chain issues, you may not even be able to get the goods and services you're looking for, even at an inflated price. That's the downside of inflation. There is an upside to it, though, and it's in regards to your Social Security benefit. So let's step back for a moment to just understand how the Social Security trustees calculate the increases for the next year for your cost of living adjustment. Now the CPIW for wages is what the Social Security trustees look at. And as you can see through the most recent numbers, there is a year over year increase of a little over 9%. But what the Social Security trustees do in terms of pegging the next year's increase is look at next quarter's numbers. And they then report it in October. So the months that are really important are the three next months, as you can see here in this next slide. So if these numbers remain the same, and certainly no guarantees, you could potentially expect an 8 to 9% increase for next year for your Social Security benefits. So how do you get 16% out of that? Let me address that. Now I want to talk to two different sets of viewers, those who are already receiving Social Security. You've already started your claims, you're getting your benefits, and you will receive in 2023, somewhere in the vicinity of a eight to 9% increase on your existing benefits. But the 16% is for those who have made the decision to defer claiming their benefits. How does this work? Once you reach full retirement age, you get delayed credits of 8% per year. But what you may not be aware of is not only do you get the delayed credits of 8% annually, but you also get whatever the cost of living adjustment is going to be for that particular year. For 2022, if you had not claimed and you had deferred your benefit, your benefits would have increased by the 8% plus the 5.9% cost of living adjustment. So that future benefit would have been increased by 13.9%. For next year, believe it or not, you could get not only the 8% delayed credit, but also that 8% or potentially more cost of living adjustment on top of the base that you've already earned. So if you made that decision to defer, it looks like that you are really going to get rewarded for the rest of your retirement. If you have further questions about your Social Security, click on our banner and click on the free chapter. I've devoted the entire second chapter of my new book, Don't Outlive Your Money in Retirement, to Social Security, and this will answer more of your questions.